I'm Adam Calloway at Cattle Chat Corner. I'm here with Igloo, and you're with Embrapa, which is basically the equivalent of USDA for Brazil, but it's a little bit more extensive than that. Can you tell me a little bit about Embrapa? Uh, in Embrapa, we can tell, like, uh, like USDA, they have a research in the uh, United States. Embrapa, it's the Brazil Agricultural Research. It's uh, a little bit less on extensive, it's more on uh, uh, research about beef cattle, dairy cattle, uh, soybeans, everything related with agriculture. And Rapids going to have a, some researchers to talk about it. Can you sort of give me a broad overview of uh, agriculture, uh, Brazilian agriculture, and what it's like and what are some of the issues you're facing? Well, right now we can tell, like, uh, on the perspective of uh, Bovan, for beef cattle, let's say, we we can tell Brazil it's head up in the world for Brazil exporting on meat, and uh, for live animals right now it's the second largest uh, in numbers of beef cattle, and uh, not just only beef cattle, but bovine, and for agriculture as we know, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Embrapa, and uh, Embrapa came in around 1970s and Brazil was importing most of the feed to Brazil and what Embrapa does they done a research in whole Brazil with a lot of units and they research about the soil about the seeds about the beef industry about the dairy industry and what they've done they transform Brazil it's in one of the most important exporters in the world so in about 30 to 40 years, we see a country that came from importing feed to export feed to the world. And as I can mention today, in rapids going to Africa to, to help them to develop the country and to, as an example from Brazil, to give them the perspective about what they can do on agriculture. So it's, it's really important for the world to see how we can develop from a country that's import feed to export feed, and that's what Embrapa does. Can you tell me when any time you're talking about livestock or bovine uh, in that industry, feed efficiency is one of the most important topics. Can you tell me a little bit about what uh, Brazil is doing to improve uh, feed efficiency? Yes, yeah, so when you consider livestock in Brazil, we pretty much, let's say, 200 million cattle today. So if you consider that, what feed efficiency could add to those. Pretty much in Brazil right now, we started with beef cattle, and uh, for the grow safe system, we only have uh, four units over there, okay? And all the four units work with uh, feed efficiency on beef cattle. And uh, Brazil with Embrapa too, they are starting work with dairy cattle. What the feed efficiency is gonna bring to, to Brazil, and not only for Brazilians, for the whole world, it's like to produce beef or to produce milk with less resources, less feed. And that it's, it's not only economics, you're gonna spend less, it's just like for the environment too, you're gonna have less, let's say, outputs, less uh, manure, and uh, with less feeding coming. So increase the productivity. So that's what we're heading up in Brazil. Good. Um, that was Iglio at Cattle Chat Corner. <laughs>